Hey everyone, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at the new Surface Pro and Surface Laptop. I'm here at Microsoft's HQ in Redmond, Washington, checking out the new devices. These are the company's first Copilot Plus PCs, which means these devices can do some pretty incredible AI things. But before we get to all of that, let's take a look at the hardware itself. Specifically, let's start with the Surface Laptop, which finally, finally, finally has a new design after all of these years. The chassis is now a little more rounded at the corners and a little more clean cut on the sides, making for a really nice looking fit and finish. The biggest area for improvement here, I think, is with the display, however. They finally thinned out the bezels and added rounded corners to give it a little bit of uh, polish there. It looks fantastic and the 13 inch model is now slightly larger than its predecessor. So the Surface Laptop 5 had a 13.5 inch display but because Microsoft had thinned out the bezels the way they did that was by increasing the screen size. So now we have a 13.8 inch display on the 13 inch model and the 15 inch model is also here but that remains at 15 inches. So the 15 inch device as a whole is slightly smaller to thin out those bezels whereas the 13 inch model is the same size but with a slightly bigger screen. So that's pretty cool. The device comes in four colors, platinum, black, sapphire, blue, and dune. The sapphire blue one is incredible. It absolutely pops in person. If you're looking to buy one of these, I recommend this colorway for sure. The keyboard deck here is pretty cool as well. The, the keyboard itself is like any traditional service keyboard. It's fantastic. We do have a um, Copilot key on the keyboard now, which when pressed opens up the Copilot app, which is cool. Uh, but the trackpad here has been updated quite significantly. It's now a haptic touchpad. So just like the Surface Laptop Studio 2, it uses uh, vibration motors underneath the trackpad to simulate a click. And you can configure how strong that is in the Windows Settings app, which is pretty cool. Around the side here, we have two USB-C ports, one USB-A port, a Surface Connect port on the other side, as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. These two USB-C ports are USB 4 to my knowledge, which is nice to see. Uh, and on the inside, we are actually rocking Qualcomm's new Snapdragon X Plus or Elite chips. These are incredible. They offer incredible power. They're pretty much besting all of the Intel Core Ultra laptops on the market currently and trading blows with the uh, Apple MacBook Air M3 and even the MacBook Pro M3 to my knowledge. Now Microsoft does tout all day battery life with this laptop but this time they truly mean it. Thanks to that Snapdragon X chip which is an ARM processor it's a lot more efficient and Microsoft says now this laptop can even best the MacBook Air when it comes to battery life which uh, we'll do our own testing to see if that's true but it's, so far it seems to be that it's the battery life on here is incredible. Now the Surface laptop for the first time starts at 16 gigs of RAM, which means you will not find any configuration of this device with eight gigs. Uh, and that's a requirement of Copilot Plus PCs. They require 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And so if you ever look, if you ever see a Copilot Plus PC in stores, you know for a fact it has at least 16 gigs of RAM, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can max out at 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage on the Surface laptop, which is pretty cool. The device starts at nine 9.99 and pre-orders are live now with shipments expected to begin later in June. Now moving on to the Surface Pro, it has the exact same design as the old one so not a lot going on externally here. It does have some new colours though, the same colours as the Surface uh, laptop so we do have the, that really cool sapphire blue and dune here as well. It's also powered by the same Snapdragon X chip, we have the Snapdragon X Plus uh, in the lower end models and the Snapdragon X Elite in the higher end models and Microsoft is once again touting true all day battery life which is cool to see and that's actually a significant upgrade for the Surface Pro because the Surface Pro has historically been quite bad at battery life and now Microsoft is saying that's no longer the case this device should last you all day with no problem which again will remain to be seen but based on what we've seen so far that seems to be the case. Now there are some hardware upgrades here. The display is now available in either LCD or OLED display options. So the LCD models will be available in the lower end models uh, whereas the OLED op uh, display option will be reserved for the higher end, more expensive configurations. The OLED screen is fantastic. Colors simply pop on this screen. And it's about time Microsoft brought OLED to the Surface Pro. So good to see that here. The biggest upgrades, however, come in the form of the new Surface Pro Flex keyboard. This is a complete rethinking of the Surface Pro type cover. It now has a built-in battery, which means when you detach it from the tablet, you can continue using the keyboard connected via Bluetooth, which is pretty cool. Uh, Microsoft says it has a battery inside that will last 41 hours, which should be plenty of battery life for a keyboard uh, on a tablet. Now, the design itself has also been updated as well. If we take a look at the top here, you can see that the, the Surface Slim Pen dock area is now constantly on show. On the older model, that docking area was sort of hidden when you attached, the, when you lifted the keyboard up onto the magnets. 
This keyboard still allows you to do that, but when you do it now, the, 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 the actual Surface Slim Pen remains on show, so it's always accessible regardless of if you have the keyboard docked up or not. Now, because it has a battery on the inside, it's also less bouncy. It's actually quite solid now, and it's a bit heavier, and it's also a bit thicker, and it's also way more expensive. This new keyboard, without the Slim Pen included, starts at $350, so you're paying a premium for all of these upgrades. Luckily, the old type cover, or the signature keyboard cover, rather, rather still remains, and you can order that one if you don't want to spend $350 on a keyboard. Uh, like I said, just like the Surface laptop, Surface Pro here starts with 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, and it starts at $999. Uh, Pre-orders are live now, and the device is expected to start shipping in June. Now, why are these called Copilot Plus PCs? Well, in short, it means they can do some pretty cool AI things. Um, Microsoft has highlighted a whole bunch of AI stuff here today, but I want to quickly highlight AI Recall, as I think that's the sort of star of the show here. AI Recall is essentially a Windows app that uh, watches everything you do, which sounds creepy, but it's all on device. It's handled by the NPU in the Snapdragon X, which uh, is able to output 45 tops of power. It's an incredibly powerful NPU. And so AI Recall is always running in the background, utilizing the NPU, so it's not touching the CPU or GPU, so your PC shouldn't feel any slower when this is running. But it's always watching what you're doing. It takes a snapshot of your display every three to five seconds and uses AI to analyze what it sees and turn all of that into something you can search for at a later date. If you open up the AI Recall app, you'll be able to scroll back in time based on whatever search criteria you've put into the top. So if you're looking for something you saw a few days ago in a web browser, you can just sort of describe it to um, the Recall app and it will do its best to pull up any instances throughout time where that was on screen. It can even identify things in images. So if you type, if you saw an image of the sea, for example, and you typed in sea, it would bring up every scenario where either the word or an image of the sea was on screen, which is pretty cool. There's also a new co-creator feature which can help you bring your sketches to life. This is ideally for people who aren't very good at drawing. If you're an artist, you probably don't need an AI to help you along here. But if you're somebody who's only good at ba basic sketches and you're kind of trying to draw something up to show someone or, or just want to sort of dabble in drawing yourself you can draw out a basic outline in say paint and then use the co-creator to be like hey make that a real thing <laughs> and so the co-creator will do its best to to turn that into a real sketch and then into perhaps real art so there we are, that is a quick look at the new Surface Pro and Surface Laptop. These devices, as mentioned, start shipping in June, both start at $9.99. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.